The 805 Focus is brought to you in part by Nonprofit Connect. Nonprofit Connect provides superior leadership tools and resources so nonprofit leaders and board members can make valuable decisions to move their organization forward to a sustainable and vibrant future. More information on services online at nonprofitconnect.org. Welcome everyone to 805 Focus. I'm Dr. Cinder Sinclair with Nonprofit Connect, and we will be bringing you the latest on your favorite nonprofits. So get ready to be inspired. Our special guests tonight are Carl and Leslie from the Parkinson Association of Santa Barbara. Welcome. Thank you. Thank We're you. so glad Thank you're you. with us today. Yep. And so I know there are a lot of exciting things going on at, at the Parkinson Association. One of which is an annual forum that you have that we want to hear all about. And the other, Leslie, you teach a, <clears throat> an exercise class that really makes a big difference. So who wants to go first? Do you want to talk about the forum or the exercise? Um, well, let's start with the forum, just okay. to get it out of the way. So every year, <laughs> um, <clears throat> actually April is um, considered National Parkinson's Month. All right, that's good for us and to know. And so at the, the last Saturday in April, for the last uh, 12 or so years, we've put on a symposium to help educate the local populace here about Parkinson's disease. So the last Saturday in April, and this year we're going to have someone, I'm not sure exactly who it is because they keep changing on us, from the Michael J. Fox Foundation that's going to show up and help educate the local populace. And so who can come to that? Just anybody that wants to? Anybody can come that wants to, but you're supposed to go online to, um, ooh, I don't know if I have it or not, um, our website to register because it does cost 25 bucks. Okay. $25 okay. to show, but once you're registered, or you can show up actually the day of and also pay too. So. Okay. So a person can go on your website, the Parkinson Association of Santa Barbara, they can just look it up and mm -hmm. register for the forum. For the forum. Symposium. Symposium, yeah. sorry. What, um, what, <clears throat> what kinds of people usually attend? Are... It's mostly um, Parkinson's patients, which okay. I'm one. Okay. Um, and um, they're caregivers. Oh, all right. Okay. Um, and we have various groups um, from Medtronic, which is a um, company that supplies uh, DBS. Mm -hmm. systems for Parkinson's patients to um, local groups like hospice and um, I want to say the Center for Successful Aging. Oh yes, yes. Table there. Mm -hmm. um, so there's a variety of things you get to show up. You can go around all the tables and kind of check out what's going on and go from there. Is it an uh, all-day <clears throat> affair? Is it in the evening? Um, it's from 9 o'clock in the morning until 3 o'clock about. Okay. And so, so are there, there are different booths and things, or is there a like a discussion group? Or? There's different tables that you get to go to around and show up and check out all the um, sponsors, so to speak. And then about 10 o'clock from 10 to 2, yeah. we have um, our speakers. Oh, all right. Um, and so they actually speak, and then at the end we have a, a question and answer session. Well, that's good. <clears throat> And I know last year you said you had about 200 people show up. We had about 200, which was our biggest um, year yet. So That's great. we're hoping to beat that this year. You know, I've, I've heard a lot of people talking about that symposium, and I think it's uh, growing in popularity. Yes, it is. And well, actually, one of the things will be, <laughs> one of the groups <clears throat> that shows up will be uh, the boxing group, which is what I attend to do oh. my exercise. Um, <laughs> It's a little bit more than what Leslie does at her place, but maybe Leslie could talk about what the exercise program that we provide on yeah. Tuesdays and Thursdays, I think, every week. So you go to boxing, and now, if I remember <clears throat> right, you said that your boxing um, class or group specializes in Parkinson patients, right? Correct. There's a particular program. They actually had to go back to the national organization in Indianapolis, I think, to get trained. They've been doing it here locally for about three years now. 
and yeah. it's great for those that can handle it. Once you get a little um, too far along in the disease, oh. you probably can't handle it. Um, oh, I see what. And then you need to step down and do something less, like the oh, dancing okay. or, or the All other right. program that Leslie wants to talk about. So Leslie, tell us about the, the, your I exercise to, yeah. classes. Well, my program I designed over the last 10 years I've been teaching it, and I call it Move to Connect. Move, 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 move to connect. your body, connect your brain to your body. Got it. And that's, that's there's, I, I grabbed <clears> from <throat> LSVT Big and LSVT Loud, which are the two big physical therapies that work very effectively with Parkinson's disease. So I've combined a lot of ideas from something called Chair Chi, and there's a man by the name of John Argue who originally inspired me, who's um, from Oakland. He's retired now, but he, he was my mentor. When I first began, he came, he was actually, he spoke at one of the symposiums um, in uh, 2008, I think it was. And um, so I had, I had taught some people with Parkinson's for two years, teaching them ballroom dancing. Hmm. And one of the men that I taught, he said, well, you know, this dancing thing, there's an article in Scientific American. It was 2008, Scientific American. And it proved that tango dancing in particular was mm -hmm extremely beneficial to people with Parkinson's. So wow. um, I, I've been, I taught them ballroom dancing first, and then I taught for the Parkinson's Association. And it was a bigger group, and I was very concerned about people falling. <laughs> so right. I, um, I created it, so I call it chair dancing, and it's very much coordination-based, and it's connecting the brain to the body, and it's using music, and these things that um, the just you know that Parkinson's likes to take away, like the voice oh. gets really soft. Everything I like to describe it as everything gets very tight and and small. Mm -hmm. If that right. you concur, and so and the whole idea with a lot of the movement and big and loud is you're doing large movements, mm -hmm. completely opposite of what the body wants to do, mm -hmm. and do it in a loud voice. So I've combined these two things to make it so that they're expressing using their voices because the voice gets really soft too and and the eyes quit tracking a lot there's a, certain specific things that parkinson's disease causes in the body mm -hmm. and so these the movements that i do in the class are designed to counteract that so it doesn't look it actually it, it looks easy and everybody that comes even the caregivers i just had a new woman come in today and she goes Wow, that was really hard, and uh, so it's actually it's it's uh, it's an exercise, but it's more honestly, it's more about we we call it an exercise class and a movement class, and it's actually helpful because a lot of people aren't very mobile once they get further along, mm -hmm. and so some of these people that come aren't able to do other exercise, but they're able to move and do this activity with how cool all these other people with Parkinson's wow. disease. So it's. It becomes this amazing support group and just the, the most lovely people, I have to say, <laughs> in, that I've ever met in my life. And it's, it's just this beautiful community. And then the caregivers, there are lots of other activities for the, care, the caregivers meet in the other room. And we're in the, in the main room doing this. Um, takes place at St. Andrew's Presbyterian Church. Mm -hmm on Tuesdays and Thursdays from 1 to 2 p.m. and it's like $5 donation. And um, there's also another one by the name of Peggy Buchanan who's been around town for a long mm -hmm. time and is wonderful. So she also teaches. So we, we share the, the, the teaching now. Golly. So, so you've yeah. really created this very special mm -hmm. and unique program. Yeah, yeah. How long have you been doing it? Well, it's been, it, we've been doing it for 10 years. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so very proud. And it's, uh, as you should be. Pe people come in and they're very uplifted. That's always my goal whenever I teach. Is like I want people to feel better when they leave than when they are when they arrive. That's the focus. And so have a little you, fun. Yeah. Imagine yeah. that. Well, and the and the key to because Parkinson's a progressively degenerative disease, mm -hmm. right? The key to the whole exercise thing is to while you're exercising to you get your heart rate up a little bit then you have to think. And it's a combination of the aerobic activity with the having to put your, keep your brain doing something that it's not used to wow. doing. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> that really functions and helps us. Gosh. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah, mindful movement, I like yep. to call it. So you're connecting, you think about what you're going to do before you do it. So it's like instructing your body how to move because the automatic uh, responses get taken away from <clears throat> Parkinson's. And that's like things mm -hmm. like walking. I mean, you know, it's, it's like, well, how do you walk? Well, gosh, let's think about that. And how, do, how would you, how do you construct that when that's not happening automatically? And so it's yeah. an amazing, everybody can use the training actually, <laughs> just to move smoothly and gracefully. Yeah. So well, again, and, and yeah. particularly as we get older, you mentioned the falling, you know, the, the mm -hmm. real problem is um, the tripping and losing your balance and whatever. And so anything you can do to delay that process, it helps you. Yeah. And back to the symposium, I guess, what I wanted to mention and about, I've been involved with this for so long that... Honestly, the one thing that all the doctors and everybody agrees on is mm -hmm. that exercise is the most effective thing that you can do to help mm -hmm. the symptoms. The and, symptoms and delay yeah. the progression of the disease, really. So that's... Yeah, I mean, it makes perfect sense. Mm -hmm. But the first time I ever heard that, I, I was surprised. So 10 years ago, you were creating mm -hmm. this exercise program specifically for Parkinson's patients. How did you put together all those ideas did you research and then say oh i love dance and exercise so i'm going to do this or how did that happen for you well it just sort of, well i craig palanin put me up to the task i was like ah, i don't know what i'm not a doctor i'm not a i've been teaching dance since i was 16 so i've taught aerobics okay. and i was a ballerina and a modern dancer i've done ballroom dancing for 25 years so i was like I'm just going to combine what I know, and I've been continuously researching and adding to my, to my repertoire and, and learning about the brain and how does it function and how does Parkinson's affect it specifically. <clears throat> and um, so, yeah, it's an ongoing exploration. And yeah. How exciting. Yeah, yeah it's, it's amazing. Mm -hmm. I mean, and again, it's like the, uh, it's, it's, uh, the disease is not an easy one to manage. Yeah, yeah. And... I just figure if people can feel a little bit better, at least for an hour, and mm -hmm. make that make that last, then then we're we're doing something. Let's yeah. keep the pot. It's the positive attitude too. I mean, yes. again, I would mention fun, and if we can get together and have a little fun and have a little community and be a little joyous around mm -hmm. the ridiculousness of this whole thing, then how right. how great? That's it. What a great well, attitude. Well, and, and you know the the. Disease, which is really caused by lack of dopamine in the brain, uh -huh. right? Um, so anything you can do, like exercise program that Leslie puts on, or the boxing that I go to, or whatever, mm -hmm. anything you can do to create that, do that, helps generate your dopamine levels uh -huh. naturally, mm -hmm. rather than have to take medication for it. So it really helps. Does help. Great. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So I guess so. You've been involved for ten years mm -hmm. or more. And Carl, how about you? I've only been diagnosed for about five. Probably had it for about ten, but I didn't uh -huh. know it for the first five. Yeah. Um, and so, yeah. So then you looked up Parkinson's Foundation and decided you'd join five years ago. -ish. Yeah, about ish. Yeah, about that. And you're a board member now. And I'm a board member. And um, I actually, because of my family history, decided to, to jump on the DBS bandwagon, so to speak, which is deep brain stimulation. Oh. So I've had that done, and it's worked wonders for me. That is great. So, yeah. That's, that's something important for people to know about. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it doesn't work for everybody, and not everybody's a candidate, but um, it certainly has improved my life a lot, a ton. Good. So. So I'll bet you've got a story or two you could share with us. Well, my usually the reports of the people that come to class are that people again like pe feel um, better than they when they arrived. And my starting with Craig Palanin, um, I would been teaching him ballroom dancing, and he'd been diagnosed, and he began to realize that when he danced, he didn't tremor. And that oh my was gosh. that was the initial. Um, aha moment of like wow if we do other activities especially around music too because it helps create rhythm and it that the again that's something that gets kind of taken away with the dyskinesia and things like that it's like how do you re reestablish a rhythm in your body and the music helps that a lot so music therapy helps 
a, people with Parkinson's a lot. And so I was like, well, sure, let's, let's see how that goes. If you can not tremor for an hour. And I, and I have another woman that I teach, she and her husband, she has Parkinson's and she, same thing, 10 minutes into dancing, she's, she's that is just so she's amazing. calms down. And same thing happens at boxing. Mm -hmm. I do the boxing at Paragon and about 10, 15 minutes into it, you can tell everybody's kind of, their tremors are kind of gone and they're focused on what they're doing and having fun. Gosh. Mm -hmm. Well, you folks are just doing wonderful things in the lives of so many people. Thank you very much for being with us as our guest today. And um, I think your symposium is going to go fabulous. And I'd love to peek in at your exercise and dance class Anytime. sometimes. That sounds great. Please. So thank you very much for all the good work you're doing and for being with us today. Okay, thank you. Thanks for having us. And thank you for joining us on 805 Focus. And we'll see you next time. So now